Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Antibody, your captain speaking, and welcome to my first Artemis Nukebuster series. Nukebusters, I ain't afraid of no military outpost. Pilots in Artemis have to be at least 80% Canadians, as they have a tendency of not locking their door. They don't seem to bother to supply their MOs with precious fuel and energy, and that behavior renders these important structures obsolete. And when that happens, who you gonna call? Exactly, Antibody. This was the last Ghostbuster reference, I promise. Let's see how nuke raiding fares compared to credit hacking. Nuke raid number one is located in West Palos Rim. System is called Mitsar. Here we can see already both MOs are not supplied and I just slip through them like a boss. The defense module is just giving me an evil stare. This nuke raid ended in a big surprise. So let's check it out what we have here. I'm quite low on AP, so I decided to start with the first scout, what the building overview is like and which building hosts a lot of resources. And it turns out that there is quite a number of robots stored in the factories. Um, the other buildings were not that convincing to be honest. And um, also the trading outpost, which is of course the main goal to raid, was also not so greatly stocked. And nevertheless, it might be worthwhile to poke some buildings, maybe there are some easter eggs after all, who knows. Um, sadly, I had a real life appointment, so I had to do the bust with 900 APs, as I did not want to get trapped inside. So things started right away with the robot factory. A good number of bots uh, stole there. I even poked the next factory for additional 7 bots. Once the car goes full, I decided to return to the starbase, where I can you know, sell it all straight away. The prices of 2100 per bot um, are not that convincing. But I'm not gonna fly back to the next planet, it's way too much um, APs to lose. On it goes with more robots and some easter eggs in here, drugs. Just perfect with my low APs. Um, I make another sell at the starbase, get my 100k in cash on my hands, then proceed to the trading outpost as I knew that there were some drugs in there. Please no defenses, please no defenses. Sweet, just raid it. Um, I think two, two tons of nose candy. I'm taking a good blow with my nose here. Hey, let's all do one. <sighs> oh, like that stuff. On we go to the droid factory. But before we get some more bots, why not? A lot of stuff in there. Another 20 tons of bots. Move on to the droids. Okay, not so bad as well. A couple of droids here. Next droid factory, maybe there is more. Nope, that one is empty, so we better squ skip it. Okay, big quiz question. Why would there be an energy well here in a nuke where there's no M class planet and come on, for shield recharging? Psst, pathetic. And that is exactly what I got suspicious that there might be some awesome stuff in there and bingo, can you say jackpot? A big stash of repair drones and exotic crystals. If Smoker would see that, the repair drones, he would get a woody straight away as it is always such a pain to find some in Orion. Orion. So I flew back to the starbase one more time to sell all my crap stuff. I then returned to the energy well um, to raid some more. Uh, I have to manage my cargo here a lot. Um, I would have given everything for a magnetic scoop, believe me. I had to prop, was con considering dropping my Caldium brains here. Open space just gets a lot smarter, but I'm so low on APs. After 7 repair drones and 25 exotic crystals, I have to dock and wait for a piece to recharge. I actually had to call my real life appointment off and yeah, you know, Paros first, then real life. People say that it's the other way around, are just noobs. So I waited, waited till my APs recharged, that I was able to retreat from the nuke, but there was like a deadly constrictor trying to intercept me. Too bad, I had no APs to kill him. Uh, we both met on the wormhole, but I was like super scared he might tailor rob me. And it would have been quite de wasting with such a cargo. I then hit under the space worm albino as I won't attack you. And you can just chill under this big fella here. I have a parasite as an orbiter, that is why I do not get on the combat screen. Big question for the pros, what will other people see when they pass by me? Will they see the Nighthawk or the space worm? I was not sure, but babysit the computer until I was able to return to safety and sell my first load of um, um, exotic crystals here. However, in general, it is not advisable to do that on the black market. However, the risk was too big that I die with the whole cargo, so I liquidated everything. I also managed to sell the repair drones at some trading outpost, and this guy here gave me a heart attack. Thank God he did not ambush me. 
because my skills suck and Kazam another 1.2 million into my bank account. Raiding nukes really is great fun. I can only recommend it. I did run about 2 million in cash, which is okay. Too bad I did not have more APs, as there were still some drones and crystals left. The party won't stop though, I was able to sneak in into another nuke, North Pato's Rim, the scene of the crime. I already did a small check up on the buildings, the trading outpost was loaded with drugs, but I first wanted to have my fun on the other buildings. Um, I kinda raided the electronics with intent on selling to the robot factory so I can raid the robots out again. However, you know, it was all just peanuts and I, you know, I went straight for the heart. Let's see if the TO actually is defended and yes it was, very very light defenses, just a couple of medium missile turrets and one advanced defense drone. Um, takes some time to grind through as I still only had conventional low damage weapons. I now upgrade to biospores as I got a lot of money from all the rigs, raids. Um, defenses are done and now time to do the raiding, I love that part. The trading outpost had like 126 tons of drugs in there. That would make like any party of Charlie Sheen um, seem like a Bible reading lesson. A lot of nose candy. I had to somewhere dump the loads though and I tried to find a trading outpost somewhere near. About 20 seconds later I found uh, one and then sold my loot and returned to the scene of the crime just to raid some more drugs. And the sad part about this, about this um, there was like a TO uh, in the sector um, that would have taken all my drugs. That is what you get for bad research. Um, I then um, took a look at the other structures, did some raiding there, but you know, nothing to get too excited about. Some hand weapon destroyeds. Furthermore, so we're all fats and I don't want to lose more rank. Um, if you raid, you actually lose some rank and uh, get reputation hit. So another drug bust worth roughly 1.5 million. So you see, MOs are not that OP once they are not supplied. Um, if you see a nuke, just try your luck. Even a single player like myself can sometimes have a shot at it. Uh, you just have to keep trying and eventually it will be your turn. So many ways to enter a nuke, either by brute force or sneakiness. This is Partus, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone has a chance.